Hello everybody and welcome to this video tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can use ANSYS Discovery to prepare a geometry for a fluid flow simulation. So to get started, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to launch ANSYS Discovery. The first way is to click on the Windows Start menu, navigate to the ANSYS folder, and then you'll see ANSYS Discovery available right here. Now, of course, you can pin this to your Start menu, Taskbar, uh, etc., just like with any other Windows program. So that's the first way. The second way is to launch ANSYS Workbench. And you can see that uh, the geometry component in an analysis system, if you right click, you have access to Space Claim and Design Modeler, but you'll also have access to ANSYS Discovery for geometry prep. The other way is to use the dedicated discovery component, as you can see here, and connect that to any analysis system, just like you can do with any other component in uh, ANSYS Workbench. So these are the couple of different ways to launch um, Discovery. Now, when you launch Discovery, it looks like this. This is your welcome screen. I encourage you to go through the information on the welcome screen if this is your first time using Discovery. There's a lot of great information out here which will help you get started. I'd like to especially point out the interactive tours. Uh, these are step-by-step -step guided tutorials that you can work through. And I want to point out especially the model preparation interactive tour. I suggest you go through this before you start your first project. Okay, click here to open the home page. Now in the home page, you have access to recent files as well as samples. These samples are more simulation focused, so uh, just FYI. To import a geometry, click on Browse and open geometry file. Navigate to the appropriate folder and select the geometry that's been provided to you for this tutorial. Now I wanna point out that uh, Discovery accepts CAD formats of many types, including native CAD formats, as well as neutral formats. Let's go ahead and open this geometry. Depending on the size of the model, this might take a few seconds. Okay, this is the geometry we're gonna use. Now, the first thing I wanna point out is that by default, ANSYS Discovery might open in explore mode. This depends on the licensing that you have available to you. Explore mode is for simulation. So what you want to do is switch to model mode by clicking here. Model mode is the mode that we recommend that you use if your main focus is to do geometry prep in discovery. Okay, now you can set model mode as the default by clicking here and going to settings. And under settings, you can set the default to model. Now, every time you launch discovery, it will open up in model mode. Now, in terms of uh, mouse controls, middle mouse button is rotate, middle scroll wheel is zoom, and control middle mouse is pan. Now you can change all of these in the settings. So click here, go to settings, and under navigation, you can see you can change uh, the mouse mapping to whatever you want uh, to use. Now, uh, under settings, there's also a couple of other things. Uh, so you can change the background color from the default dark theme to light. I'm going to keep it in the dark theme for this tutorial. Okay, so now uh, let's look at, um, you know, different ways to manipulate uh, this geometry. Uh, different ways to visualize the geometry and uh, also look at parts management in this video. In the second and third videos, we'll go into the actual geometry prep. So on the left is the model tree and uh, or geometry tree, and you can see different uh, components available to you. These components might have one or more bodies under them, and you can just see what's under those components by clicking and expanding uh, as I've done. And you can collapse this back if you want. Now, uh, let's talk about uh, hiding bodies. There's a couple of different ways to do that. Uh, you can click on this icon in the tree to hide and unhide. You can also do the same thing by selecting a face on a body, right-clicking and saying hide. You can also right-click and say show all at any time. So that's an easy way to hide and unhide. 
Let's talk about making bodies transparent. So let's click on this face and you can click down here in the view arc to make that transparent. Or you can click here and select this icon and change the transparency right here. Now let's talk about changing color. You can again do this in a couple of different ways. So in the geometry tree or model tree, you can click this icon to change the color. Okay, like this. Or you can click a face on that same body and use this icon to change the color to whatever you want. Okay, easy. Now let's talk about different views. Down at the bottom left is the view arc. So uh, this icon can be used to change the graphics from shaded to wireframe. This icon uh, sets the home view. So for example, if I wanted this to be my home view for some reason, okay, I can set this as my home view. And then at any time I can return to that home view by clicking here or using the hotkey H on my keyboard. I can reset the home view by clicking here. I can use this icon in the view arc to snap to different um, views. You know, these are based on the uh, global coordinate system like this. Okay. I can also select a face, let's say this one, and use this icon to look at the geometry normal to that face like this. Okay. So just many different options over here. You can also uh, snap to different views by clicking on the Go global coordinate system triad in the bottom left. And you can use the circle to kind of spin the model around. Okay. Let's hit H to go to the home view. Okay. Uh, the last thing I want to show you in terms of uh, manipulating the different views and view angles is that you might want to save very specific uh, view angles and visibility conditions. And it's easy to do that. So let's go ahead and uh, rotate it to some arbitrary angle like this. Let's say we want to preserve this view. You can simply click up here to save this scene. Okay. Now let's say I want to do the same thing maybe from, from this angle, but I want this housing to be hidden. So let's hide that. Okay. Maybe this is a view that I'm interested in. And I can click to save this as a current scene as well. So you can save as many scenes as you want. So let's say I want to hide the lower housing and maybe the filter. So maybe this is a, a scene that I want to save. I can click here. Okay. Let's go back to the home scene, right click show all. Okay. Now to view the scenes that you um, save, simply click this arrow and you can see how it's so easy to snap back to those scenes you saved previously. Okay. Once again, just hit H on your keyboard, keep keypad to go back to home, and then you can right click and show all. Okay, great. So we have learned how to manipulate the model, uh, you know, organize things in the tree, look at different views. Now I just want to talk to you about how to invoke different tools uh, and how to, um, you know, interact with the tool options. So uh, to do this, let's select, uh, you know, this face. Okay. Now let's say you want to uh, do a pull operation on this. You know, we'll talk about exactly what pull does in uh, the other video, but just click on the pull tool from the ribbon. Okay. You'll notice that a heads up display is invoked. The heads up display that you see on the screen is the primary way in which you interact with tools. You have tool guides on the left side of the HUD and you have tool options on the right side of the HUD. And of course, these guides and options are gonna change depending on the tool you choose. So for example, if I choose the move tool, you can see how things change, okay? So you can always access tools from the ribbon and you'll notice there are multiple tabs which give you access to many different types of uh, tools, okay? Now to dismiss this heads up display, simply hit escape two times. Now let me show you the second way in which to access commonly used tools. So let's select this face again. Now you'll notice this icon here. This is called the hex. If you select a face and you click on the hex, it exposes the halo. Now the halo gives you access to the most common tools. 
So here we see in the modeling section, we have pull, fill, move, select, uh, sketch, combine, and so on. You also have access to different selection techniques and you have access to simulation uh, tools, but we're not going to focus on that because that's this tutorial is all about geometry prep. Okay. So if I use the halo to select the pull tool, here we are again. Now, uh, when it comes to the heads up display, please note that you can click this icon here and drag the heads up display to a different location if you kind of want it out of the way. Okay. If you want to snap it back to the original position, just click this icon again. It's very easy. You can also change the um, positioning of the heads up display by going to settings. Let me move this down here. And you'll notice under the general tab, you can change the size of the heads up display. By default, it's comfortable. We can make it compact. You can see how it's closer to your um, selected face. Or you can make it wide and it just moves farther apart. I'm going to leave it at comfortable, which is the default, but I just wanted to show you that it's quite flexible uh, how you want to position that heads up display. The last thing I want to show you uh, is the overlay help. So at any point, uh, when you need information about these different icons being displayed, you can hit F1. F1 invokes the overlay help system. And as you mouse over, you can see it tells you information about what all these different icons are doing. You also have access to little videos. You can click the play button here to you know, see a little demonstration. And in some cases, you also have access to online help. Uh, you don't see that on this screen, but you know, in other tools, you, you might have access to online help. To dismiss overlay help, you can hit F1 again, or you can always use the uh, option up on the top right of the screen. Okay. And as a reminder, to dismiss the heads up display, just hit escape two times. Okay, so uh, this concludes part one of this tutorial where we have shown you the, the basic information about the discovery user interface, shown you how to manipulate the model. Please go to part two where we'll actually start doing some geometry prep for fluid flow simulation.